طبعا احنا اليوم يعني ضمن موسم الزيتون في ارض قريه فرخه طبعا موسم الزيتون بالنسبه لنا احنا بننتظره على حر من الجبر وبنكون كل العيله في هذا الموسم وثانيا هذا الزيتون اللي هو موسم خير علي وعلى اسرتي لانه بنعكس علينا اقتصاديا قلت لك بدنا نساعد جمال <تصفيق> الارض انا اخذتها من من خمس سنوات اخذتها ويعني باخذ باخذ محصول كان انا كان زوجي مسافر له قعد خمس سنوات في الامارات في دبي عايش في دبي خمس سنوات كان يجي كل سنه يجي شهر وكان يسافر وانا كنت انا وابني عندي اولادي اولادي شباب انا واولادي كنا نشتغل في الارض اذا كان رش الارض أكو the main goal uh, of the from groove to market program uh, is to improve the the way that the olive oil value chain uh, function in in a way that um, small scale producers uh, especially women uh, will get uh, more benefit out of that market um, من خلال برنامج من الحقل إلى السوق المنتدى اشتغل مع 17 جمعية نسوية موزعة في كل مناطق الضفة الغربية وكمان مع مجموعات نسوية اشتغلنا كون هذا البرنامج بيهدف لتطوير ورفع قدرات والمستوى المعيشي لصغار المزارعين والمزارعين. And during this intervention, one of the consortium uh, of our partners are the Business Women Forum, who mainly focus on the, the women, uh, women issues and uh, economic empowerment. So we supported the women, mainly uh, cooperatives, building their capacities and the skills, uh, how to produce high quality Uh, olive oil and olive oil olive byproducts like olive paste and olive uh, soap. Uh, now they produce the high quality. Now they export uh, their product. I mean, uh, outside the country and they sell in the local market. Uh, they gain uh, more uh, benefits, more return from the the subsector. So they they work in the the production site and also now they they benefit from the the return uh, from their work. طبعا بالنسبة للمزارع تأهيل المزارع تدريبه توعيته هي عوامل أساسية تقود إلى النجاح دور مجلس الزيتون هو الوائمة ما بين المنتجين والمستهلكين وذلك انطلاقا من مجلس الزيتون الدولي ومن ثم المواصفات والمقاييس المواصفات الخاصه بزيت الزيتون ان يحددها The last 10 years more than 1 million olive trees have been uprooted by the Israelis by the occupation If we talk about uh, 60% of the Area C, which is a new terminology might be for many people, the Area C is the area where controlled by the Israelis. It's Palestinian land where we don't have any access to it. Uh, so uh, this is the unique challenges that we face in Palestine. <laughs> الأشجار البستنية اللي موجودة في فلسطين هي أشجار زيتون بيعتاج على شجرة الزيتون أكثر من 100 ألف أسرة 
يعني حوالي نص نص مليون شخص في فلسطين يستفيدوا بشكل مباشر او غير مباشر من قطاع الزيتون، فاحنا عم نحكي عن اكبر القطاعات الزراعيه واهمها اقتصاديا. This what I meant by the, the dynamic network that from growth to market managed to establish. That includes for instance uh, bringing external capacity like Cody Institute who support a lot in terms of, of analyzing uh, the value chain and understanding uh, standing the, the, the issues that the sector is, is, is facing. And they, they have a very good international experience in this field. In addition, um, the, the private sector, uh, the private sector who joined us in terms of, of, of supporting small-scale farmers in, in improving the quality and the quantity of the product. Of course, that improvement is uh, an enhancement of production is also needed for the, the private sector. In addition, the cluster approach where uh, the program managed to bring together cooperatives to work uh, jointly under the Federation's umbrella, as well as uh, the related ministry and on top of, of them is the Ministry of Agriculture. So uh, taking this approach of, uh, in terms of, of, uh, of investing in this sector has helped a lot in, in, in avoiding duplication, enhanced coordination and thus impact uh, on the sector development. In cooperation with Oxfam, with the other program from the field to the market, we did different kind of a study, of a studies. Most of the studies shows that the input is too high. When, when the input is too high, this means the price will be too high and later on it is not competitive in the market, even externally or locally. Now we came out with some uh, instruments and some activities which can decrease the cost of the input. project how to train the farmers to use the best practices in this uh, sector from the farm to the fork. All the indicators about the quality with the members of the cooperatives which they are dealing through the project which implemented by Bethlehem University and Oxfam and other local uh, organizations. Uh, this oil, all the indicators, when we did the tests in the labs, it's giving good uh, indicators and this will support and help a reef company which is responsible about promoting and marketing olive oil, the Palestinian olive oil, to find better opportunities to sell it in the external markets. During this uh, program, for the first time, we, we brought the small-scale farmers, their cooperatives, and the private sector together, and they sat and talk and discuss and argue, and at the end of the meeting, they set a fair price, fair for both sides, for the producers and the, uh, the private sector as well. Uh, they are happy uh, about the, the program, and they are looking forward to see, uh, I mean, this, the program going forward. The, the main goal of this initiative, how to uh, make kind of network between the companies uh, whom they are uh, specialized in filling and packing and promoting and exporting the Palestinian olive oil. Uh, five big companies, uh, they are now in a new union called the, the, the Palestinian uh, Company Union for, olive, for uh, Olives. And this union now uh, uh, are working very close to each other. The main goal of this union, how to organize the, the Palestinian market and how to improve 
the capacities for these uh, companies and how to make the uh, tension more or less between the relation of these companies. We work uh, with the farmer organization at national level to strengthen their position uh, to be able to represent the farmers' interest on the ground. And I'm here talking about the, uh, the union of uh, agriculture cooperatives in Palestine. Also, I'm talking here about the Palestinian Olive Oil Council who take the internal policy challenges uh, uh, from the ground and present it to the decision makers, to the uh, Minister of Agriculture, Minister of National Economies and other, other related ministers at the, the Palestinian uh, Authority. This program really has managed in, in creating a new uh, philosophy and strategy of dealing with the agriculture sector. Uh, that take into consideration uh, uh, working in a multi-stakeholders environment and, and engaging all actors in decision making and policy and strategy development. And I guess from Groove to Market has succeeded uh, to great extent in terms of, of establishing the right mechanisms for that. In addition, uh, I guess what can be capitalized on is, uh, is the kind of, of pool of investment the Swiss yes. Development Cooperation yes. and the European Union agreed uh, to put for the development on this sector. And thus in the future to avoid donor money fragmentation yes. and to have a kind of pool of resources to invest in, in agriculture sector or in sub-agricultural uh, sectors. بالإضافة إنه إحنا وإخوانا في برنامج من الحقل إلى السوق استطعنا تحديد المشاكل المحورية في قطاع الزيتون وبدأنا نحلها يعني شوي شوي المشكلة إنه البرنامج قرب على ال على الانتهاء. حتى تلهش بخيخ أنت؟ خنزير جدوى. وينه؟ مشروع من الحقل إلى السوق واللي هو طبعا بمساعدة مؤسسة أكسفام ومن خلال مؤسسة أريج ما حد أريج إحنا كمزارعين استفدنا منه كثير. اولا في انه استمرينا شجعونا في الاستمرار وتطوير الزراعه العضويه راح نشاط وحيوي الواحد بس حبدر انا بطمح للمستقبل مثل ما ابوي اعطانا رزق واعطانا زيتون واعطانا ارض واعطانا ارث انه رزقه يعني وثروه